Okay, guys, so in this video, what I want to do is I want to run you through a mashup that I did on Instagram the other day. There's a couple of interesting things going on in this mashup that I want to explain to you, and I think you're going to find it interesting. If you're not already, make sure you go and check me out on Instagram, at Phil Harris Music. I'm doing daily tricks and tips on there. It's really awesome. Anyway, let's get into this. So what I'm doing in this mashup is I'm putting an acapella over a dance track. Now, the first thing you need to know is that this dance track here has got a very stripped back bass line. It's not a very busy track. That means that an a cappella can sit on top of it really nicely because it doesn't have loads of stuff going on. It doesn't have another a cappella. It's just a bass line. And a cappella sit on top of bass lines really nicely. That's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is that the bass line of this dance track basically has the same bass line of this track. If you go and listen to it in your spare time, this is Can't Believe It, Flow Rider, and then this is a track called Infinity by Dub Dogs. I heard this track, I was like, that is basically the same bass line as this track, so that's how I knew the two were gonna fit together so easily. That will happen sometimes the more you listen to music. You're like, whoa, that sounds so similar. And if they sound similar, you know they'll mash up really well. So that was the second thing that happened. The third thing that I do in this transition is whereas this is building, what I do is I kind of drum along with this a cappella before it actually hits, okay? So as this track is building, I'm hammering the cue button. <laughs> right? This is just a cool little like trill that you can throw into DJ sets. If you're about to bring in an a cappella, sometimes just hammering along just gives it a bit of energy and it gives it a bit of interest. So it's something else you can practice. You just gotta put the cue point at the beginning of the word and tap along. It's just a simple trick, but it's something you can practice and play along with. Okay. The second thing that I do as well is I start using this effect called trans. Trans is an interesting thing. Once it's activated, it kind of causes this stuttery effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here and just run the track forward and back. And you're going to notice it sounds stuttery. So instead of sounding like this, I can't believe it. It sounds like this. I can't believe it. You see how it adds that stuttery effect? Now, the reason why this is interesting is because when you put stuttery sounds over another track, it actually just ends up creating like a groove. Like you've got to think with dance music, you've got the kick that's going doom, doom, doom. Adding something over it, like tick, 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 it creates a groove. That's the thing in dance music that creates that kind of swing. So adding something that's got a stuttery effect adds a groove. That's the third or fourth thing that's going on in this mix. It's really interesting. Now, the reason I bring this in is because this track starts, a vocal starts, right? And I don't want to have a vocal sitting on top of a vocal. So what I can do with this vocal is turn it into a stutter, which just creates a groove while this vocal is going on. You're going to see all this happen in a second, okay? I'm just running you through it all. Now, the final thing I do is I've created different cue points here. Let me turn trans off. Right, basically, Flowrider says, and I've put a cue point on every single. Okay. So as this is stuttering, I'm also playing different kind of notes that Flowrider is saying. Okay? Now, if you can remember all of this stuff, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to actually show you the full transition so you can actually see this in action. This is a bit of a slightly different tutorial than usual, but hopefully you can just see now everything I've taught you. So let's do it. I can't believe it. White girl got some ass. I want to see it. Black girl got an ass. It ain't a secret. Okay, so there you go, guys. Hopefully, from this little tutorial here, you've learned a couple of things. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to learn how to make awesome mashups and remixes like this, go to beginnerdjlessons.com. I've got full courses. Make sure you go and follow me on Instagram for daily Insta inspo, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.